up guys I finally cracked open my new phone after about four or five months looks pretty hd it's in the studio right now gloomy thursday afternoon by myself you know just following up on the whole end of a phase You know, I was just thinking about what I spoke about in my last video, on, on, not my last video, but the video I spoke on TikTok where I said, you know, I feel that the game has come to the end of a phase. You know, phases have their life cycle. And I think all across the board, what we're seeing is that, you know, it's truly an end, the end of a phase when it comes to music, when it comes to entertainment, sports, you know, football is a great example. What do we have? We just had the Euros, and it's like you look on, you look at these games now, and you barely recognize any players because all the guys that we grew up on, they're finished. You know, when Gareth, people like Gareth Bell have retired, it truly shows you that it's the end of an era. Music, the same thing I'm seeing now. I'm seeing so many people pop up. I don't even know who these guys are. Um, and you know, you can just feel it. A lot of the guys that are kind of from the old phase, a lot of the stuff that's coming out just feels outdated, feels a little bit pointless. Yeah, those are the signs when it's, it's, it's the end of a phase. Everything is very stagnant. You can see everyone's kind of looking ar around like what's next. And, you know, after a while of being in this game, you, you kind of come to s see the patterns. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I know, I know it's the end of a phase. And you know, what I asked in the video was just like, what's next? This is what everyone, what everyone is wondering. What is next? And you know, when it's the end of a phase, there's a lot of uncertainty because of what I just said, where people don't know what to do. But that is honestly one of the greatest opportunities because if you just work relentlessly and you're authentic in your, in your work and, and you come up with new ways of doing things, maybe create a new sound, you know, merging and mashing up two sounds or a whole new way of designing or a whole new way of manipulating whatever it is that you're working with. During these times, these are when the new waves are created. Whilst everyone else is kind of worried, look around, figuring out what else, like what's going to be next, sticking their head in the sand like an ostrich. If you're bold enough to follow your ideas, um, you know, just experiment and fail can't stress how, how important it is to just fail and just try different things and, and see what works. Like the people that have got that mindset are the ones that, that, that succeed because what happens at the end of every phase is that along with the phase dying, the people that don't evolve, they die along with the phase. It's either evolve or die. It always has been. It always has been. And it's no time, it's no different to any other time before, but this time around, I feel like it's very loud. You can really feel it can really really feel it you know it's just tired it's just stale but it's exciting it's exciting like I said you know it's exciting because these are the times when greatness is created these are the times when the next leaders of the next generation the next wave are, 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 are being created are being cultivated so if you feel like you know you've been overlooked or you feel like there haven't been, there hasn't been any space in the game for 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 your vision, for your perspective on things. This is the best time to put it out into the world. You know, don't be paralyzed by fear like everybody else. Try. That's what you see. Like, just try. And in general, this this year is moving so fast. Like we're already in middle, like halfway through August, we're down in September. But at the same time, I don't feel like much is happening at all. It doesn't feel like much is happening. There's things happening, but it doesn't feel like it. Summer feels just like strange. You know, it feels strange when there's nowhere you want to be. We're supposed to be doing a thing in uh, Mykonos. I designed a staff uniform for uh, tape, club tape. 
the new club opening in Mykonos. And we're supposed to go out there with the brand and do a whole like, you know, party and presentation, all these sort of things. But I just, I don't have any desire to do anything that takes me directly away from the work right now, because as I said, doing these times is the times to really lock in and work and do that ugly graft and do that stuff that you've been avoiding. Just get to it because when shit's popping again, it's too late. It's just like investing. Everybody wants to invest in crypto when everybody's talking about it. But if everybody's talking about it, that means it's already too late. The people that really do it, and by the way, I'm not a crypto guy, I, 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 but I just know that that's how it works. But, you know, they invest whilst it's quiet, whilst nobody else knows about it. That's the same thing. Whilst it's quiet right now, and it doesn't seem like there's really, it. nothing looks lit, nothing looks fun, lock in. Because it will be lit again, it will be fun again, and then you're gonna hope and wish that you did the work so that you've leveled up by that time that that comes, so you're not just repeating the same level. Do the work now. Like my advice to everyone is like really lock in now, unapologetically, and just get to it like a madman. That's what you guys are gonna see from me. I don't have a real, I don't have a real approach for how I'm gonna try out this content and how I'm gonna put this content out, but I just kind of want to connect with you guys on a deeper level and just take you guys on a journey and just kind of peel the curtains back a little bit and let you, because I, I kind of just, I, I show little bits and pieces, but as you guys know, I'm very private, but even with the agile philosophy, I feel like now more than ever, it's important for us to build a community of like-minded individuals. I have certain people in the comments on the TikTok saying that they've been looking for people that think like this. And we're just building a lifestyle, you know, this is way deeper than clothes. The clothes are kind of just like, the physical embodiment of the lifestyle. But there's so much more to it. You have the Adra philosophy, there's the Adra lifestyle, there's a whole universe that I'm trying to build. So, you know, with this content, I feel like I can take you guys along. So I'm quite excited about it. I don't have a solid plan. I'm just trying to make it as authentic and real as I, as I really can. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. So that's pretty much it. I'm trying to give you guys my thoughts because Seems like you guys like to hear me just think out loud. It's just, just me in my head, you know? But that's that's what it is for real. Here we have some samples from some upcoming collections. This cardigan, I'm so proud of. This bottom jacket, I think we've been going crazy about our new, upcoming neoprene collection. It's just me and my clothes. Got the little boot corner over here, man. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a real boot corner, so. Might as well give you a little rundown on what boots I'm rocking with right now. Season three. Whoa! <laughs> hey, these. Yeah, man. This is a good design. Like, good design will stand the test of time. When did these drop? Probably like 2017. Probably like 2017 or something like that, I think. Yeah, I think these dropped like 2017, but. Good design on, yeah, standard, standard test of time. Yeah, fire. Oh, 
unpractical fashions. The boot matching the, the shades, the tints and the shades is just greedy. So greedy. Season three, man. Looks like military boots and some other just take the max. That kind of sauce. Good Loewe boots. You know you know. It took me a minute to hunt these down, but I'm always gonna find it. One thing about that is always gonna find it. But these are cool as hell man. So they are paint on the retail as well, of course. And they're just fire, 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 fire. They're cozy. These are easy to get on, so I'll just do both. Why not? For you guys, I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys, man. I'm not going to sound that thing. I ain't going to say too much about these. These are like a real good cut. Comfortable as well. Great group. Great, great group. Happy. Very happy I've got these in the archive. Oh, my wrist, my wrist injury is serious. Like even picking these up is like hurting me. She really hurt, like, that's hurting, painful as hell. Fraternal twins, the big, the big skis, big skis. It's not a Ricky, yo. I'll just go. But yeah, Rick Luna boot. Again, special. Like, I know, my radar's so good, I know when it's one of them ones. I know when a piece is one of them ones, like that one piece out of the collection, that's just like a must have, so it's like, it was that time. But one thing you'll notice about me or you'll find about me is that I'm not like a collector or something in a sense where like, whatever the brand drops, I'm just gonna buy it. No, I'm not like that. I'm very, very selective. Like my selection is very curated. So even with Rick, many of the boots are not gonna catch me. Like cool, but not enough to move me to buy them. Whereas with these, I've seen them, I was like, yeah, I know, this is gonna be one of them ones. I bought them probably two-ish years ago when they dropped two, three years ago. And doesn't feel like, you know, you buy certain things and it's just like, ah, oh, past the little moment, it's like, ah. Uh, like, I know, for example, like the Balenciaga, like the tall, odd kind of boots. I know by end of year, to next year, it's gonna just feel old. Bad investments. Bad investments. Them ones are bad investments. Bad investments, man. Like, all that stuff where it's like, depending on like what season it is, like if it's the latest, stay away from it. In doing that. Yeah. So good, comfortable as well, all day kind of comfortable. Like right, they're kind of low key when you put the boot, when you cover the boot, it's kind of low key. When you want to go crazy, it's all there. And again, it's not like, it doesn't feel trendy, it doesn't feel like it's just like for that season and then it's done. So, yeah. Be like, be intelligent with your shopping, you know? Buy the stuff that you like, that, own, that you like. Forget about everything else, everyone else. Forget about the Instagram, about the IG, TikTok, whatever people you're rocking with. Buy what you like. It's my advice. These, man, getting these was a chore. I say a chore, a chore. They didn't release in Europe. They were meant to be an Asia exclusive at first, I think. Then they dropped them in America. And I had to just jump through so many hoops to get them. But again, like, they dropped so many other colorways. Not so many other, but a few other colorways wouldn't move me. These were the ones, so like, you know, I had to do a few, I had to call a guy that knows a guy, and we made it happen. But yeah, these are like, again, piece I'm gonna look back 
uh, years later, the same way I did at the Yeezy and be like, wow. One, that was the time. And two, it was just like, it was one of them cops. It was one of the things that needs, you need to have in the archive. LV ski boot. Again, so comfortable because the actual ski boots are so padded. Fine, I love them. Yeah, they just got a quick the body, they just got perfectly balanced out, big baggy pants. You no know, big baggy pants, small t-shirt, good belt, big boots, that's the MO, that's what we're doing. Especially this winter, this fall, yeah, it was stepping on business. I'm gonna step on you before you try to stomp on me. That's my motto. Yeah. Big LV that, you know, we shoot with. These are crazy. I'm gonna give a little backstory to these, but my fun, man, wow. Our kind of stars, big boots. This is a fucking vibe. I feel like Ryan Gosling in a. It was called a place beyond the pines. He's been my inspiration for years and years, and I feel like I'm finally like a point where I can like emulate kind of some of the fits in the film. I'm just like, yeah. but these I gotta put the, the gloves back on. Full motion. Stay dangerous. Call me a poser, but I've been on this biker shit for the longest. I know it's a little trend right now, but who do you think that's because of? But now, drugs aside, you know, I just admire like people that live on the edge, that live this dangerous life, that stay dangerous. Sometimes it's just in spirit, you know, and then I just, like I said, I celebrate it in my heart. But you know, a day about angst, that's what it's literally about, preparing today so you're not afraid tomorrow. And I really feel like the bikers, they really embody that lifestyle to a T. They're usually by themselves and they've got a close to a little group. They're just quiet, stoic as hell and just won't even say a word and just go do the craziest things and then just shrug it off like it's just normal. Like that's just so badass. So yeah, like you're gonna see a more, more a lot more than that. It's not gonna be just bike or it's gonna be like celebrating different just, you know, lifestyles that just are rooted and just being fearless and just being free and just being being yourself and just doing what you wanna do. So yeah, phase one, right now we're on this bike over here, man. My um, supplier, where we source all of our uh, authentic, like, vintage military um, tents and pieces that we rework on the genius side, and we've seen these, we're like, yo, what the hell? These literally look like the Rick groups. Inspiration to everyone, man. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, look at that. Man, Rick is different. You be looking where you guys don't look. That's why he was staying on top. But yeah, I assume that these are probably like some sort of cold weather footwear. But fire. As you can see, I'm not even taking my shoes off. I'm going straight in there with the shoe one. Certain rappers, or certain people start popping out with these. Just know who did it first. It's your boy Daggy. Little vibe, not to shoot. It's gonna be fun. We've got another military captain coming up this fall anyway, so it's gonna be it's gonna be cold. But yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's